Taurus. <clears throat> and this is going to be your love reading for the month of December. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. You guys, if this reading does not resonate for you, please don't try to make it fit. I would, um, I would advise you to go ahead and just check your moon and rising sign. And um, even your Venus and Jupiter as well. If this reading does not resonate. Um, and if after checking those other placements, if it still doesn't resonate, then, you know, it just may not be for you. It may be for somebody else that truly needs to hear a message during this time, okay? Let's see. All right. And if you guys need a personal reading, um, my information is down below the video. You can visit my website at pinkarianjim.com, okay? We can set something up. All right, guys. Has. Let's see where Aries is coming from. What? Not Aries. I'm sorry. You guys, some of you may be dealing with an Aries. This is for Taurus. Let's see where is Taurus coming from. Past position. King of Wands. Okay. All right. King of Wands, you have been really focused on starting something and very passionate about starting something. Um, the King of Wands puts people in place. It's almost like, you know, delegating. Put people in place to, to set them up to help you to accomplish what it is that you're trying to. So I feel like the magician is somewhere around here. And I just feel like that. Then also we have the emperor doing exactly what it is that you need to do when you need to do it and giving directives, okay? So this was you in the past. So, you know, I get the feeling I get the strong feeling, because this is Aries energy as well. So you may be dealing with an Aries, like I said. Um, but this is somebody that's very, very stern and non-moving. Like, you know, they believe what they believe and, um, and that's it. There is no straying from the course. And I feel like, you know, in the past, you you have this um you have this idea of what it is or what it was that you wanted what it was that you deserved and you had you had it set in stone like how to go about getting it because again we have an aries card here the three of wands you know putting something out there and then waiting to see the benefit of it you know to see that return basically is what the three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in okay now you could be dealing with a talk i mean an aries but you know this just may be you know somebody here that's right on the cusp of aries and taurus okay but this is strong aries energy here as a matter of fact, you know, Three of Wands is a sun in Aries, okay? So, and you also may be waiting for somebody from a distance. Or somebody was very distant from you in the past. You were looking for them to come back possibly um, here. Let's see what's going on presently. Justice. The Page of Wands. And the Nine of Wands. Very fiery energy. Now we have Sag energy showing up here. Hmm. Now you feel like, you know, there's something that you want to make right. Or there's somebody here that 
feels like there is something that they want to make right here with the justice card something was off balance justice justice shows up when something is off balance and needs you know basically to be looked at again or you know to be revisited and i feel like there is somebody that has just realized what that they do want to make something right And I think what's stopping them at this point is them being very defensive, feeling like they have come a long way from where they have been. And they are just will, they, it's like they don't want to step out of their comfort zone because, you know, it, it took them a while to get where they are right now. A lot of blood, sweat, tears type of thing. And so it's like they're very defensive about their position right now. And I feel like it's, it's more of not wanting to be hurt again. That's what the defense is. Um, like it took a long time to get over a situation here. We have Libra energy present as well. The Libra is the opposite of Aries. So, yeah, I mean, very, very strong Aries in your reading, Taurus. Um, yeah, okay. So let's see what is something on the flip there. Did it flip? No. Ooh, okay, so that flip <clears throat> we have the eight of cups this eight of cups right here looks like it is walking back somebody's wanting um who whoever this eight of cups is whoever this eight of cups person is here this is pisces energy but it looks like they are the ones that are that's feeling really regretful and is wanting to wanting to make things right here because it looks like they're rock, walking straight up to justice um but they walked away at some point they walked away at some point um and they were carrying a lot of burden regarding this relationship another sash card here i also feel like you carried the burden of the relationship for so long and wanted to rectify whatever completely failed here and you were holding on to that and holding on to that so strongly that something could possibly turn around. Something could turn around on its own. I, I felt like that. Or either this person felt like you were gonna bear the burden of trying to fix things again but now they're realizing that things are not going to move forward unless they come forward. So, of course, these energies go vice versa, Taurus, but um, so either you are going back to make things right with this person or but it but you walked away before previously or this person that you're dealing with is really really working hard to forget about you know what actually brought you guys to this situation they're trying to work hard to put that to rest and you know come back and make things right i feel like Okay, 
Then you have the four coins over here. It's Capricorn card. Um, you know, four coins is, is all about ego for me. So somebody in this situation is holding on very tightly to, to themselves. Like, you know, don't not wanting to open up. But you know, in a relationship, you can't you can't have a whole lot of ego if you expect a whole lot of love to come out of it. Okay. Let's see about this King of Wands up here. Knight of Wands and Temperance. With the with the King of Wands. You know, okay, in the past, this King of Wands was very in and out and not, what's the word I'm looking for? They weren't consistent with their emotions and what they actually put wanted to, to invest in the relationship. Because I think they were too busy focusing on, you know, what I think this is this is like the selfishness of the situation. The very um what do you call it? The fact that this this emperor was very stubborn, very set in his ways and not really wanting to give and was all about self. Cause I feel like this is, this is all about self right here. Okay. Giving very little here. And that caused a real strain on the connection. And I feel like this Look at that. We have a four of wands with the ten of cups. You know, another scenario here is that tempers a Sagittarius energy as well. So is the Knight of Wands. So we have this Sagittarius energy here, which is present here in the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands as well, that was very in and out of the connection okay very wishy-washy kind of energy here and then we have the emperor right beside it with the four of wands and i do feel like that's aries energy but i feel like these are two different people for some of you where somebody was very solid and what they wanted in this relationship and somebody else was very flaky in the relationship okay and i feel like you guys butted butted heads on that and whoever this emperor is whether it's you taurus with you know being right there on the cuffs of aries or the other person, whoever this emperor is, is somebody that realizes that there was a real connection here. There was a real connection here, okay, with the, with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Very compassionate relationship. And I don't know if it was one-sided, but it looks to be that way, that it was one-sided. 
Not saying that the, the other person, you know, didn't love, but I think they had this way of making the other person question the love, okay? And so now, in the past, somebody gave up on the relationship, I feel, and is just looking for new love, looking for new opportunities. And, and then you have the other person really kind of reflecting on what happened between the two of you. Because you guys did share love. We have Virgo energy here as well. You guys did share this, um, a really deep connection. But I don't think that it was in, exhibited in a, in a way to where it felt reciprocated between the two of you. So here we stand now with somebody trying to make it right. Okay. Somebody's want to make it right. Look at that. We have justice being clarified by judgment. Somebody, Scorpio energy. Now we have a king of coins, um, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king of coins is trying to, is wanting to make things right. Whoever this energy is, Whoever felt like, whoever was in a relationship that, that knows, because they know that they didn't give their all in this relationship, this person knows, and they want to really make things right. They want to bring this connection back. Now, the problem with this is, and I, can, I feel like chills all over my body. The problem with this is, that there's way too much ego, way too much holding on to things that are not serving you anymore. So if this actually is to come into fruition, then somebody has to make a move. Whoever feels like, you know, they, they didn't do the right thing needs to make that move because I don't feel like the person that was in it to win it from the beginning is going to make a move. It's not happening. Now, you know what your situation is and you know which side you fall on, okay? It's because I, I see that here. I see that strongly here. And I see, look at this, Ace of Wands. Somebody really thinking, hoping, hoping with that Seven of Coins. Thinking about planning things. Thinking about all of these, look at all those sores there. Something is really eating this person up. And it's about this new start that they, they want to happen. But you can't just sit back and be idle, you know? You've got to come in, whoever, the person is that did the injustice. And what I, what I mean by injustice is if you know you've done something that you're not proud of, make it right, okay? Try to make it right however you can, okay? And that goes for you or the other person, vice versa. Now, clarifying the page of wands, we have the world card, okay? This is Saturn. This is ending something, ending a karmic cycle to start another karmic cycle, basically. And karma is not necessarily bad, but I think something needs to be justified here, corrected, made right. So this cycle can end the right way and something better, something new 
that, you know, you're deserving of, you know, can come in. Okay. But in order for that to happen, this is being able to act on the thoughts that you're having. Act on what it is that you found out. Act on what it is that you found out and, you know, make it right. You know, Aries had the King of Wands, the King of Coins, and I want to say the King of Swords in their reading. And they also had the Four of Wands in their reading. So, you know, Aries is, is strong in your reading. Although Sagittarius is here as well. Let's see what this Nine of Wands is about here right now going on with you. Yeah. Yeah, see, huh. Leo energy, a lot of fire here, a lot of fire. So with all this fire here, you know, there's a lot of action. There's a lot of, you know, action going on within you or the other person or both of you. And it may be separate from each other. The, the Nine of Wands is being clarified by the Six of Wands, which is being recognized by many, being victorious, okay? And you're willing to stand your ground to defend. This is another defensive single card. So somebody here is very, very defensive. And I, and I just feel like this is, this is the person who feels like they were done wrong in this situation that is not making a move towards the other person because it's like they have come through the battle and they're willing to defend it at all costs. Even their point of view is like, no, I'm not budging. You know, I've come a long way here and I don't even know if I want to revisit this whole thing because, you know, it, it just did not you know, do my spirit right and see here with the with the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck, like realizing that, you know, they've gone through a lot of healing. They were very focused on what hurt them in the past, what happened in this connection. You know, so you know, it takes a lot to even if you have moved to a better place, to want to turn around and revisit something that brought you down in the first place. It's it's hard. Okay. So here in the future I have this card to fall out. We have the eight of cups coming back clarified by the three of swords and the lover's card hmm. yeah I feel like you know with this with the three of swords and the lover's card I don't know if this person that's coming back actually and, and this is just another scenario that they left to be with somebody else up here with the three of wands, you know, thinking that things were greener on the other side, waiting on like, oh yeah, I'm going to pass over your cup and you know, because there's something better out there for me. Okay. But now it's like, they know that that was not the thing to do. And I feel like the person here who feels like they were done wrong, and I almost feel like, you know, somebody's cross watching here, and this could go vice versa. But the person that feels like they were done wrong, I feel like they knew or had an inkling of some misdeeds on the on the you know part of the other person um they probably could never prove it but they they felt strongly that this person you know had something else going on on the outside of the relationship okay and at the same time you know but now this person's coming back they're wanting to come back they feel brokenhearted because they do feel like you're the one. They made a bad decision. They made a bad call. Whoever walked away, they made a bad call. And now they're realizing it and wanting to come back humbly because they see you as 
the queen of coins, male or female. Like they see you as very beautiful, very elegant. You know, you, you take care of yours. And they knew they had that with you, with that ten of coins being there. They're making their way back. But you see this knight of, knight of coins? Usually the knight of coins, that horse is on the ground, not budging. But this knight, you see the horse's legs on the way. Okay? On the way. Moving. Slowly, steadily. Okay? That's what's coming. Earth energy there. So, Taurus, for those of you who are really Taurus that are watching, maybe, you know, it's something that you need to make right. Not sure. Only you know. Somebody's willing to bear the brunt of this you know, take responsibility for what they've done here with the sun and the, the two of wands. Like, their path has been lit. They've been enlightened about, you know, what it is that they need to do. And I feel like they're willing to bear the burden of whatever, whatever consequences that, you know, come about. They're willing to take that leap of faith here. They want to reunite. I feel like they're they're intimidated though. They're very intimidated. Whoever walks away is very intimidated that you know you're gonna they're they'll be rejected. I feel like that you won't take them back or the other person won't take them back. We have the Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Cots clarifying the Four of Coins. The person is hurt. The person that was hurt in this situation. This is a person that is very, unlike the Knight of Cups, who just kind of rushes in and one way or the other is like, you know, they're just a sucker for love, this, that, and the other. You know, they may be Prince Charming or, you know, charismatic female or, you know, what have you. Well, the Queen of Cups is full of emotions too, okay? But the Queen of Cups is balanced with her emotions. She thinks on an emotional level, okay? So she's always taken into account what other people feel. And I feel like this is this is a person that, you know, was in it to win it initially. Something good is coming towards this person with this will of fortune here. Something good. This is clarifying the four of coins. And I feel like, you know, this for the other person is just holding on to the hurt, to themselves, like, you know, not putting themselves, you know, out there like that to be hurt in a way that they were hurt before. Okay. But I do see progression here. And so that's good. Okay, we have all signs here, but strongly Sagittarius energy and um, strongly Sagittarius or other fire um, Aries energy here, quite strongly. Okay, some air may may have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. But those are the those are the strong energies that that I'm sensing here. Okay, guys. So that's what I have for you, my Tauruses, for the month of December, and I'll be speaking with you soon.